Welcome back to Bar Bosque. I'm Lillian, your instructor. Today we're going to talk about standing pretzel. So let's get started. We will begin by placing our hands on our countertop or bar. We're going to be parallel. So you're going to be about arm's distance away from the bar here. Feet parallel and then you're going to go ahead and glue those heels together. You're going to have a narrow V. From here, slight bend in those knees, nice heavy tailbone. Go ahead and take your right arm. You're gonna place it on your countertop. Left arm, you're gonna brace yourself holding onto the countertop or bar. Left leg is gonna come all the way to the top here. So since you are in a narrow V, you're gonna, your hips are gonna be open. So the hips are gonna be out. Leg is gonna be out. We wanna maintain the leg still for this exercise. So in the beginning, we're going to take our foot and we're going to keep the knee still and we're gonna lift the foot lower, lift lower. So this is a lot of mind-body connection. We're moving only one area that specifically we are targeting and then we're gonna maintain the foot still, take your knee and you're gonna lift the knee lower, lift lower. So nice and slow, you can tap that area where you're trying to concentrate on. Lift, lower. Find stillness in the entire leg here. From here, you're gonna take the whole leg and you're gonna lift, lower, lift, lower. So you should be feeling it on your seat here. Remember that you're squeezing the glutes as you're lifting and lowering. Breathe through it. You can pulse up, pulse it up and up. You are going to find stillness in the leg here. You're gonna take your heel, but you're gonna drive that knee back into midline, release, press it back, release. Press it back, release. From here, elongate the leg here, bring it down. You can lean on that hip if you would like. And then you're just gonna turn around and do the same exercise on the other side. So that is your standing pretzel. Go ahead and take a look at our seated pretzel. I will put the link on the comments. Thank you.